still in Scotland, 250 odd miles to go. Day two, we're going to Todd and Duncan. Always been one of the two most famous yarn spinners in the world. I can't imagine they're anything but busy, although a lot smaller than they used to be, but still, you know, a very, very famous name. Um, so a short hop from Edinburgh over to Fife, um, to Kinross, um, and then the big long drive up to Elgin to see Johnsons, who I know are doing extremely well. Back in the 19th century, mills were low rise and covered a lot of territory. Todd and Duncan have been in these works for all of their long history. Todd and Duncan cashmere. At Torts and Norton's, we use it for the softest scarves and woolies. Yeah. This has been washed in dehair. hair Yeah. So that's the white dehair hair cashmere. Feel that. The last time I saw bales like this was in a US Border Patrol. Uh... And they were filled with heroin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. The upstairs showroom is packed with cashmere, here in every colour of the rainbow. Our host is part industrialist, part historian. Why is it called cashmere? What's the connection with India? The history of the cashmere business started with Todd and Duncan and its sister company, Joseph Dawson. Joseph Dawson was a wool merchant. In 1892, his daughter was being married to a missionary in India, and he went over to, for the wedding. And when he was there, he saw these women sitting by the side of the road, teasing out this fibre, and for the first time in his life, saw cashmere. Anyway, he brought some of this fibre back home, and Todd and Duncan began to look at spinning cashmere yarn. They formed a woolen spinning mill in Nick and Ross, and one of the main reasons being that we had access to this wonderful soft water right. from Loch Leven. So the first commercial cashmere spinning started in this building, and that started the commercial cashmere business. school and I worked in the carbon department and I just worked my way up from being a supervisor to the coordinator up in the design studio and I love it. The people we work for here are really like the high end of the cashmere business and we work for everybody all over the world. But what we do in Todd and Duncan is top range and we have to keep it like that. Todd and Duncan use the best of everything. It's top class cashmere that we bring in. It's produced top class machinery. But the people that receive our yarns are getting 100%. And that is why they'll come back. All our customers come back. A pattern is beginning to emerge. Long service, great product, a sense of pride. Another pattern, a cooling climate, a rolling landscape, and the need to change drivers frequently. Elgin is an elegant town, and at the centre, a fine 18th century park, a quality house, and an ancient manufactory. James Drakeup is at the helm. We've been here since 1797, so we're over 213 years old. It's a fiercely independent Scottish business, yeah. and there is a real sense of community in terms of putting something back into the community. Um, we've concentrated on what we consider to be higher added value and luxury end of the market. And one of the constant things about Johnson's over the years has been that it's been a market-led company. It's been a, um, a company that's invested heavily in product design, innovation and development. We've probably got the biggest design team of any such company in the UK. Johnson's of Elgin supply torts and Norton's with their fine estate tweeds. This part of Scotland is famous for its cashmere. This is amongst the most famous of all.
I've been 27 and a half years bar and I'm a technician through in the, the weaving shed. I've saw a lot of changes in my time and all the machinery is getting more modern. But uh, I'll enjoy my job and it's a challenge every day. Johnson's of Elgin, what's the fuss about? The best quality cashmere in Scotland. If you wash it, it, it remains the same. The feel of it's the same, it's luxurious. But as we buy cheap, it is cheap. We buy good, it lasts a long time. And this is what we produce. This is just Scottish heritage. We've been here for 213 years. We're just, we just thrive on the competitiveness of the business. We like to be above everybody else. And that is why we invest so much in machinery and people and training them.